I was recently featured on Greg Eisenberg's podcast talking about Model Context Protocol, or MCP, and I gave a high-level overview of what MCP is. But I wanted to dive a little bit deeper and show you how to set up MCP. And scouring through Twitter, I found probably one of the best threads, honestly, best explanation of MCP for technical people, right? And it's by Matt. I'll leave the link in the description below. Fantastic person to follow when it comes to anything AI TypeScript. So in a traditional sense, right, um, if you want to connect services to your LLM or tools to your LLM, right, you're going to have to use every single services individual API, right? Whether that be uh, GitHub, Slack, um, what's a good one, maybe YouTube, Google, whatever, like any service that you want to integrate in your application, especially with an LLM, you're going to have to work with each individual service provider's API. And this can get annoying, it can get frustrating, it can be gluing a bunch of services together in a non-cohesive way. What MCP does though, MCP becomes this layer between your application, your LLM, and the services. Right. And I think a way I explained it is imagine if each service provider was a different language, English, Japanese, Spanish, and then the MCP protocol or the MCP, sorry, because P is for protocol in model context protocol is like a general translator that translates it in a way that your LLM application will understand. I think that's the best and simplest way to get it. APIs for LLMs. If you want to get your LLM to do anything useful in the world, you'll quickly hit a problem. And I, I've explained it in my video with Greg. LLMs by themselves are kind of useless. I mean, like you can get it to write jokes, help with some uh, questions, history, maybe write you some code. But the real power is when we combine LLM and tools. But now we're entering an evolution where it's LLMs and MCP. And MCP is now this layer between the APIs of external services and the LLMs. How did you understand the model context protocol? Now we're going to actually set something up. We're going to get something working. And I'm going to use Windsurf as my MCP client, and I'm going to use Convex's MCP server. And by the way, both of them are the sponsor of today's video. I appreciate Windsurf and I appreciate Convex because guess what? Windsurf is my IDE of choice and Convex, whenever I need to build a React application, is my database and my server functions platform of choice. And what better way? Than to set up a project ourselves. So I have a Next.js project running. Again, I'm using Windsurf. Personally, I prefer Windsurf over Cursor. That being said, why don't we build a simple application, use Windsurf as our MCP client, and use Convex's MCP server. So I'm gonna go to Convex's docs, and I'm just gonna follow the Next.js quick start guide quickly, and I'm just going to install Convex. I'm using PMPM, I've been PMPM pilled lately, so I'm just gonna install Convex. And then while that's installing, all I have to do is create a client provider and wrap my children in the layout.tsx, in the root layout.tsx. So I'm literally just going to create, we'll do this in components. So I'll create a components folder and I'm just gonna create provider.tsx, paste this code, and then I'm going to copy this right here, go to layout and then wrap the children here and then we're going to import this right here using windsurf that's it so okay we have convex set up now i'm going to have to create a convex project so in the cli in a new tab i'll just do mpx convex dev it's going to ask if i want to create a new project we'll call it mcp tutorial we'll just call it, we'll just use cloud deployment it's going to create a new convex project happens pretty quick and once that's set, we have live syncing, meaning if I create a convex function, it's going to sync and update right away. And all my functions are on the server, which we love, which we adore. Now I'm just going to use cascade to do all the work. So I want to say uh, I am using Next.js 15.2 and uh, convex. I want to build a simple public chat forum. Uh, no need for auth. We can use people's um, IP as their username. I don't know if that's smart. Um, and anyone can come and chat. All right. So we're going to let um, Windsurf take care of this. I am using Claude Thinking, 3.7 Thinking. I probably should have just used... Um, the regular clot, it's probably going to take a minute, but you won't have to see because I'll edit it out. So I'm looking at the plan. It says first, check the current home page and layout and understand the starting port. Then 
create a convex schema functions for chat system, build front end chat components, connect everything together. Solid plan. I would have done it that way as well. Windsurf is is creating the schema, the, the, the schema for the table, and it's creating the messages functions. We see a get message get messages query function, and then we see a send message mutation. And here's the thing, convex is just TypeScript. So just reading this, you understand what's going on, right? Get messages. There's a handler that's async. We have some context. And basically, we're going to query the messages in descending order, first 100, and we're turning those messages. And in send message, you get text and sender out of the arguments, and you literally insert that in the messages table. It is so simple and so easy to understand and use. Like convex is one of those things I picked up instantly. The if, uh, what does that? Okay, we're gonna go on a little side quest. What does this word mean? Lasting for a very short time. Ephemeral. Why don't Why don't you just say that? Oh, we're gonna click accept here. Let's see what it's done. Um, it's already running, so I don't need to do npm run dev. Let's go here. Let's see this error. It's done. Um, you don't need to do that. We can just import. So I'm going to accept, 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 and then let's just import this ourselves. Perfect. Um, so let's go localhost 3000. All right. We see our chat. Hello. My name is Michael. And then let's go to convex. Let's go convex dev, I believe. Let's log in. I'm going to log in through my GitHub account and we see MCP tutorial and we click on data and we see the messages table and look at that. And one of my favorite things about Convex is it's um, real time out the box. So if I, you're going to see me type a message. Look how fast that is. Look how real time that is. So this is cool. It's good enough. Again, we're not here to build an application. We're here to set up MCP. So we have our basic application. Now I'm going to go back to Convex and I'm just going to search uh, Windsurf and it's going to say using Windsurf with Convex, Convex MVP server. I'm just going to click that and I'm going to click on Windsurf. So there's a simple guide here on how we're going to set up our Convex MVP server. It says to get started uh, with Windsurf, open Windsurf settings, cascade, and then model context protocol servers. So, so we go to Windsurf, settings, Windsurf settings, cascade, and then we see model context protocol servers. Um, there's none. So I think we click on add server, right? Um, it says click on add server, then click add custom server. So you can add these pre-configured uh, servers. I'm going to add a custom server, right? And then, okay, it brings me to this uh, JSON file. And then it says add the following configuration. So I'm just going to copy this right here and paste this and then hit save. Okay. After adding the server, return to Windsurf settings, cascade, um, MCP servers, screen on, click refresh button for Windsurf to pick up the new server. Okay. So hit save. We close this. We're back here. Hit refresh. And now I have added my convex MVP server. And we see that there are 10 tools convex gives us access to status, get all available deployments for a given convex project directory data, read a page of data from a table in the project, lists of tables, function specs run. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open a new chat here and I'm going to say, uh, what messages do I have? in my convex db and i'm going to just use 3.7 because i don't want it to think it says i'll help you check it fires off the convex M mcp tool so and it says i can see that your convex database has a message messages table let me retrieve the messages and it's reading the messages straight from my convex database from my messages table. And this is what's cool. I didn't have to write any API functionality. I didn't have to connect my convex and write some sort of function and do all that stuff. All I did was copy this JSON, paste it in the MCP settings or MCP config.json file. And now my Windsurf IDE has access to my convex database and I can ask it questions. I can do a plethora of things that you see here. And this is the power of MCP where now our LLMs have become useful. They're not useless and cute. They are now becoming useful. And I'm excited to see 
more tools, more integrations, more MCP stuff. And I can't wait to see Convex give us more as well. I'm definitely chatting with the team. I would love for us to do more with this MCP server. Pretty much it, y'all. Again, you can check out all the other pre-configured servers. You can, there's plethoras out there on Twitter. And shout out to Windsurf and Convex. Definitely my favorite IDE, definitely my favorite database platform. Check them out, use them, they're great. Wanna see a video tutorial of me creating an MCP server? Let me know in the comments down below. Give us a like, make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.